everyone this is PhD natural me and welcome back to my channel it is almost a new year this is very exciting thank you for those who have stopped by those that have been visiting and kind of looking haven't hit that subscribe button yet go ahead and hit that little button thank you for all those that have subscri subscribed I wanted to talk today just about where I am I went to go see my surgeon for my knee replacement everything is coming along well and the next one is coming up here shortly <laughs> so i'll have two great legs to stand on here shortly i mentioned in a few videos back that i was interested in sprouting and i wanted to show you some sprouts that i had sprouted out and this is actually a salad mix a spicy salad mix and I know you hear a lot about sprouts well if you're googling around or sh checking out YouTube and you looked up about sprouting people say oh it's wonderful it's great they taste great I'm gonna give you my opinion I enjoy sprouting it's exciting it, it's relaxing for me I have a tray over here where I'm growing sunflower microgreens or sunflower sunflower sprouts I think sprouts is when it's not in soil and microgreens is when it is in soil so that would be sunflower microgreens and I love the sunflower microgreens because it tastes just like sunflower they're great this is a mixture of alfalfa sprouts, Brussels sprout, uh, not Brussels, broccoli sprouts, and broccoli sprouts are very good for um, helping you nutrition-wise. I'll let you do your own research on that. I did it because I wanted to try it. I hear it was just great for health, and so I did it. I grew them, and they look beautiful, and then I tasted them. And I went, what? <laughs> so I've been kind of searching around how to make them more tolerable. They, they really taste very earthy. And for some, that's great. It may be great for you. What I did, I took some of the sprouts and I took a bowl of hot water. I took a, a handful of them, about a cup, put it in there and let it soak for a minute. I rinsed them. And then I rinsed them a few more times in cold water. And I put soy sauce and sesame oil in it. And it was not bad. I can tolerate it like that. I know people put them on salads and they put them on sandwiches. And I think I can tolerate it that way. I do not believe in eating yucky stuff. So if it's not tolerable... That'll be the end of my sprouting season with alfalfa sprouts. But I have a few more different types of seeds that I want to play around with to see how I like. Oh, what else is new with me? While I was recovering, I did not strictly eat keto. No. And I am literally the same weight I was six weeks ago which is great I did eat as much keto as I as I was prior to six weeks ago prior to surgery but I believe what helped me was that I did not go carbohydrate crazy if I wanted something to eat and it, it was carbohydrate a carbohydrate food I ate it, but I didn't eat it in excess. And I think being on keto and learning learning what my body needs helped me. Now that I am seven weeks post-op, I feel, I feel better and I still am sticking with keto. And I'm gonna go back to eating where I was at 20 carbohydrates 20 grams of carbs or less, 20, 25, somewhere in there. 
that helps me and I, I feel good eating that way. When I did eat, I can tell you it, it wasn't over 60 to 80 grams of carbohydrates total for the day. So it was a low carbohydrate diet. So I think that helped me maintain my weight and feel as good as I do. I added the sprouts because I heard they're good for you. And let me, I would love to find out if any of you sprout anything. If you sprout, oh, I'm going to sprout some mung beans. Mung beans um, turn into your bean sprouts. And I love bean sprouts. Love bean sprouts. So I think that will be good. I haven't done it yet. I have the mung beans. Just haven't done it yet. So life is good. New Year's coming up. What are your New Year's resolutions? Do you even make any resolutions? Last year at this time, I was in a different headspace. Things were rough. And I went through a lot this year. I learned a lot. I cried a lot. I grew a lot. And now, I'm ready for a new year. I'm ready for health and happiness and a good start. I want to enjoy life. I enjoy living in my RV. I want to put it on the road a little bit more than I did last year and enjoy my family. So tell me, what are your New Year's resolutions? Stay healthy, everyone. Keep eating keto or whatever it is that helps you to feel good. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss any of my videos. Stay healthy and keep eating keto. Bye-bye.